There's Don oh at Band Land. Hi, Don. What's up? Update. Hey, how you doing? Hey, oh, there's Hammer. Hammer. I ain't got no nail polish, so. So, no eyeliner? No eyeliner today. No, no guy eyeliner? Just, Come on, like you sure? No tight pants, nothing. Nothing, just, really. Can't be a rock star today. Normally, I come to practice like that. <laughs> today, I took a break. All right. I'm quasi. Yeah, so we're here at Bandland, tripping over guitars. Um, it's uh, Saturday, 16th. The November 16th, one day before our two year anniversary as a band. Yeah, tomorrow's two years. So uh, we're auditioning new people for the band and new person for the band. And, you know, uh, we've got shows lined up. We have a big show announcement coming up really, really soon, probably as early as the end of the next week, uh, that you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for. Um, make sure you do that. So, what? What? You're going to be what? Stay tuned or you'll be cut. <laughs> Bobby found a new knife. Trying out a new flip camera now. Just got um, issue. Uh, so I guess no sense of really holding this off any longer. We held it off pretty long, Bob. We held it off pretty long. What did I hold off? What were you holding? I'm holding yeah, the cam, man. We held it off pretty long now at this point. I think it's, I think yeah. it's time to just get, just, you know. All right. Uh, we have a new band member. We have a new bassist that did not take long. And thank God it didn't take long. Because uh, we have shows to play, and we will be holding our contractual obligations to these shows. The promoters do not need to worry about this at all. So without further ado, we would like, I hope you don't mind being on cam, dude. <laughs> this happens a lot. This happens a lot. So uh, uh, without further ado, we'd like to introduce our new bass player. His name is Sludge. Did I get that right? Sludge? You can call me whatever you want to. We'll call him Sludge. <laughs> That's what he said. So say hi, Sludge. I love these shirts. Oh, yeah. It's got BMF one. I love it. So, uh, really yeah, yeah. Now he has one. And uh, he's also got, he brings a, a whole new vibe to the band now. He's it's got. a signing bonus. Yeah, it's a signing bonus. His shirt. He gets a shirt, a shirt, a bandana, and a Pepsi, and a sandwich. You know. <laughs> That's what we got our record contract for. <laughs> so, uh, anything you'd like to say to all the. the uh, the existing fans and hopefully new fans of uh, Psychotic Melody now that you're part of the band. Rock on. Metallica's bass has got a million dollar signing bonus. <laughs> <laughs> He's jockeying for a bonus now. <laughs> so, nice uh, to meet you all. Yep. So uh, he's going he's gonna to learn a lot of songs now. And uh, I, I feel for him because, oh, look at this. <laughs> he's got the knife. Look at that. It sounds like, it looks like a scene out of Spartacus. <laughs> but, um, He's got a pretty decent, uh, decent rack here, of uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, take take the top front off. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, he's got a nice. Is that a country? Line six head, uh, built-in tuner. Has he got a built-in tuner? What kind of bass is yeah. that? It's a sound gear. Ibanez. Sound gear Ibanez, rocking out. And then he also brought to the table a new PA. Or actually, it's an old school PA that rocks hard. There you go. <laughs> it's the hater bell. It's the hater bell. It's the hater bell. And a PV, uh, PV, uh, PA system that's going to definitely come in handy. Uh, he brought six, what'd you say, 600 pounds of equipment with you? Yes. <laughs> Literally. That thing weighs about 300. Nice. Vintage Jeez. crate. Vintage crate. Great sound. So, on that note, we are now. Once again, a complete band. Um, we will be keeping you updated as the weeks come by and uh, as the holidays roll on through what's going on with us. And I uh, hope really you stay tuned. Don't forget to also check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Reverb Nation, Twitter, and uh, what are we on something else? Oh, iTunes and Amazon as well. Should we so, talk about January 11th? January, 11th? January 11th. Yeah, tell them about Silver January Tongue. We'll tell Silver Tongue and... Uh, Doc's Holiday. Doc's Holiday, yeah. Doc's Holiday. And that's, that's going to be where at? That's going to be at Sylvester's. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, you come down. That place rocks, man. I love Sylvester's. Yeah. Got that old school kind of rock feel. And Are we going to be ready by then? Uh, actually, they could put the show on like two weeks before that and we'll be ready. Okay. So, that's, Think that's so, what Doug? we do. Yeah, I know so. <laughs> <laughs> so, also, don't forget that uh, January 18th at the Ben Street Sports Bar, 
we will be playing the Music Rocks Autism for Linda Kane with the uh, likes of Ghost of War and Pain. So um, make sure uh, you check that out and support a good cause. And don't forget on April 19th. Oh, that's so nice, Bobby. On April 19th at the circuit, we will be headlining with Torque uh, and, and uh, two other bands to be announced. So we're still working on that show. So on that note from, uh, what do we want to call this now, this Paractus area? What do, you, what do you want to call it? Are we going to give it a new name or something? We should give it a new name. Why don't we, you know what? what? We'll have what? a new name by the next time. Okay. This yeah. sounds like a poll. Maybe a, a poll. Yeah, a poll. Uh, poll. They're poll. <laughs> so, uh, P-O-L-L. -L. Right. Yeah. So, well, we'll figure out something. So, from that uh, psychotic melody out, we'll see you on the next update.